Uh, it feels good uh, having uh, for it being the first day of practice, getting together with the guys, ready to compete, and uh, start the journey for the season. Expectations are high. Uh, the only thing we're worried about right now is winning the championship and uh, getting better each and every day uh, to achieve that goal. So just really just getting better and uh, the leaders that we have, the the comers, the newcomers, uh, they're all 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 hard workers and we'll be fine this year. Yeah. You guys have been going through. Uh workouts all summer and, and uh, the first portion of the fall here. What's it like to walk out today and know that you're starting the season today? Uh, it feels good just knowing that all the hard work we put in uh, it's going to pay off this year and uh, we're going to continue to do that and I just can't wait to uh, get the season started. What do you think North Nation can expect from this year's team? Uh, expect a, a grinding, a fighting team, a hard working team, and a team that's never going to uh, stop working and is going to compete for a championship each and every day. Uh, all right, Darren, you guys have had a summer of workouts and, and some fall workouts. What's it like to get back at it today for the season? Yeah, I mean, I think it's great to get started. It's obviously a little different now than it used to be because we get some access uh, in the summer. But I, I think anything that uh, is a milestone where our guys know we're inching closer to playing against other people uh, is a good thing. So I think our players are really excited to get started. What what can the fans expect from, from this year's team on the court? Yeah, I think it's going to be a really fun team to watch. I, th I think uh, this is a group that has the most depth uh, in, in my three years here uh, in terms of uh, number of guys that we feel really comfortable uh, playing. And so uh, hopefully that's going to lead to, uh, you know, a greater level of athleticism and and uh, versatility uh, uh, for our team uh, to, to have more guys that we can play. Okay, good. Coach, um, you know, you had the summer conditioning, you know, in the weeks leading up to the official start of practice, I think you get like eight hours of workouts, right. um, film study and stuff like that. On the first official day of practice, what are you looking for from the team? Yeah, you know, again, you know, for us, we're not really changing what we do. We just have more time to do it. And uh, so I think we're looking for the, the things we've been looking for really all summer. Guys uh, understanding their roles and buying into that uh, and giving great effort uh, defensively. Uh, and then, then uh, trying to play as fast as we can offensively. And, you know, those things are always a work in progress uh, throughout the year. And, again, it's a little different now because we get some access uh, in the summer and the fall. Uh, so it's not a drastic change when we start practice uh, like it used to be. But, but I think those are things that we're definitely uh, going to be looking uh, for because, that, you know, that's what we need to be to be our best. You know, we, we feel like in order to grow our team, uh, we got to be much better defensively. And uh, we were really good offensively down the stretch last year, but we can, we can improve on that and hopefully do it earlier uh, in the year this year. Okay. Uh, you answered Brian's second question, talking about depth a little bit. Mm -hmm. Can you speak a little bit more about that with your returning experience with uh, Trayvon, Adrian, Bryson, Marquez? You have a bunch of newcomers, a couple transfers. Yeah. And you also have QB and Emmanuel coming in as freshmen. Yeah, I mean, you know, last year was so unique, uh, you know, with, with COVID. Uh, but, but, but then for us, you throw on top of that, you know, we don't have anybody that was returning in a major role. You know, Trayvon was a consistent starter and had produced, uh, but, you know, was still, you know, not one of the, 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 the big three, so to speak, of the seniors we had that year. And so everybody we had last year was either in a brand new role uh, or playing college basketball for the first time at this level in, in, in a program that's, you know, expected to compete for championships. And so, uh, you know, that's, that's that's why you saw, along with COVID and the crazy non-conference schedule, a really slow start. But then, you know, once we got going, we won eight out of ten down the stretch. I think the difference this year and what we're looking for is that we've got guys now uh, that have been in those roles. We have freshmen that contributed at a major level last year, including the returning uh, uh, freshman of the year, Marquez Wark. So there's an expectation that those guys know what it takes more, going to be at a higher level. And then I think we've added the great depth, and some of that depth is guys that have college experience experience, you know, two transfers and um, Chris Brandon and uh, Sabian Sims. And then, uh, you know, we feel like we've got some young guys that they, they come in with some maturity. Sam Vincent probably stands out in the freshman class as the guy that's most ready to play. And, uh, you know, when you add all that up, we feel like, you know, we can go nine or ten deep and and uh, not have a ton of drop off. And so we've, we've got to figure out how how to utilize that and, and make it a strength for us. Okay. 